I'm going to show you specifically how I'm using logos to help me in seminary, whether it's to researching for online discussions, studying for exams, or in particular, writing papers. That's where I feel like there is a lot of time saved. So first of all, what I share with folks, when you buy a logos package, you're getting two specific things. First, you're getting a digital library. So in this case, they're showing us 2,050 digital books included with Logos 10 Reformed Diamond. And then secondly, you're getting a software set of tools and features. Now, if you do not want a Reformed package, this is a denominational package, they have other denominations represented. I'll put them up here on the screen. They have specific packages, or you can even just get their general Bible study packages as well and not specifically to a denomination. Now, for me, being in a Reformed seminary, it made sense to get a Reformed package. I was looking through all the books that are in here a number of these books I was going to need to buy for seminary anyway. So the way I looked at it and what I actually did was had a friend who just graduated from my seminary. I had him look through all the books and say, do you think I'm going to need a bunch of these? Now, of course, I also can look up my syllabuses and see what required books are. And he said he thought this was definitely well worth it. It's going to save me probably four or five hundred dollars from books I had to buy anyway. So in a lot of sense, as a seminary student, this made sense. So you get in seminary and one of the things that they are going to have you do is write papers, lots of papers. Logos really helps me out and it makes that a lot easier. Now I had to write a paper on the concept of truth in the Gospel of John. And so I'll show you a few of those resources that I use. Here's our favorites. So click favorites, come down here. Now here was the favorite that I made for my truth paper. Now, if you are going to research and look at say 30 to 40 different books, and you're in a library and you're gonna spread those books all over a table and you're gonna be taking notes and um, highlighting and pulling out certain quotes that you wanna use in your paper. That's awesome and Logos is gonna let me do that, but instead of having books spread all across my desk, they're gonna be in my desktop. And I can use this favorites feature to whenever I am looking at something, so say I'm in my commentary right here and I want to remember this right here, I'm just going to drag my commentary right over to my truth and boom. Now it's always going to go back right where I was when I was doing that study. Now I actually don't want that in there. So let's delete that one, but that was just to show you an example. So the first thing I was doing a study on a, the, the word truth in the gospel of John, our Greek word is aletheia. So let me show you here. This is searching for the Greek word aletheia and Logos is going to show me I've got 4,887 results in 3,000 articles and 256 resources. Now that's overwhelming, but what I can do is it's going to show me. Now, first of all, the majority of these show up in the Bible, but I can come down here. Like I told you, I needed journal articles. So I've got 49 journal results and it's going to show me here's our Greek word that I'm searching for. Here is the journal title. I'm just scroll down here until we find one twofold office of apologetics. Here's our Greek word. I can click on that. And what it's going to do is it shows me that journal article and then it's going to highlight everywhere my search term shows up. This makes my research very quick. So we'll come down here. I'll let me get rid of the journals. I was able to quickly come up with a couple journal articles. And then when you find, we're going to grab our clippings here. This is my clippings document. Now clippings is whenever you find something that you like, highlight it and then come over here to my clippings. I'm going to hit add clipping. And so as I'm doing my research, I'm looking at commentaries. I'm looking at books. I'm looking at journals, academic papers, whatever you want to look at. And when you find quotes that you want to keep or quotes that you're going to insert, you have to make sure that you do your bibliography, make sure you do your footnotes properly. Now Lagos is going to do all of that stuff for me. So here's a quote that I took that had the word Aletheia in it, and it is from a commentary. And let me hit my info here. And boom, there's my footnote. I can now copy my footnote and I can paste it directly into the paper that I'm writing. So what I did was all of my quotes that I wanted to include in my paper, I included here in my clippings. And if I didn't use it, I would just add a note and I would put did not use and then I could keep that. And if I used it later in the paper, I would get rid of that note. So I knew what was to be included. Now what that allowed me to do when I was done with my paper, not only was I copying and pasting my footnotes in as I was writing, but my professor requires me to have a bibliography. This is where this is going to save you a ton of time because I can say uh, export 
save as bibliography. Okay, so here's my bibliography now, all right? So I can copy paste that, I can print that, I can do whatever I need to do. And this is the style that my seminary requires my footnotes to be in and my bibliography. You can change that if your uh, seminary has a different style. So in writing papers, Lagos is saving me a ton of time. But the other way Lagos is really helping me with seminary is most of the books that I'm required to read in seminary are Lagos books. So let me go ahead and pull one up that I had been reading for my church history class. So grab library here. So readings in Christian thought was one of the books assigned for my church history class. And let's open that in a floating window. And I can search this resource if I want. So as we're doing online discussions, which my history professor would require, he would ask specific questions about specific readings. And so this search feature was very, very helpful. And then as I'm going and reading, just like a Kindle book or whatever, you can highlight the passages that are important. And if you know you're gonna to have to write a paper, you can start adding those to a clippings document. So we had to write a paper on one of the resources that he required for us. So I was saving clippings as I was doing my reading during the semester. So that when it came time to sit down and write that paper, I already had my footnotes there. I had everything that I needed to begin to write that paper. So having to read your books in, in Logos can be very helpful and time-saving. Now, I don't prefer to read on the computer, but if you have an iPad, Logos works very well on an iPad. You can read. So usually if, I'm, if I want to read a commentary for a specific passage that I'm preparing either to study or to preach on, I will do my searching on my laptop. I'll find the commentary that I want to read, grab the iPad. I can sit down, do my reading, do all my highlights, copy whatever you want to copy. When you get back on the desktop, it will all be there for you. Now I have been a Logos fanboy since about 2007 when I got when I purchased my first package. Being in full-time ministry was extremely helpful for me preparing sermons and doing weekly Bible study. I found the software to be excellent. Now pricing here, this is showing pricing for a non-Logos user. So if you don't have Logos whatsoever, to get Logos 10 Reform Diamond 2000 books and all those features, it is 2759. Now that is significantly expensive. However, that's just over a dollar a book, plus you are going to get all those software features. If you are already a Logos user, they will give you dynamic pricing. So for example, I already had a Logos Gold package, and to upgrade, it was showing me the dynamic pricing. Since I already had a number of those tools and resources, it was $1,500, and that added about 1,500 books to my library. They do offer a monthly option, so $120 a month you can pay if you want to get Logos 10 Reform Diamond, or it'll be cheaper if you already own a Logos package. If you're interested in checking out Logos for yourself, click the link in the description. That will bring up this specific package that we are talking about, and you can peruse their website, see if you think this package is right for you. Let me know in the comments if you think that this series and this specific package would be right for you. How do you think you could use Logos to help you in your study or in your ministry? This is Jason for Soulfire. I'll catch you in the next one.